aspartame, aspartame, or is it aspartame? Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be talking about aspartame intolerance. Some people claim they are sensitive to artificial sweeteners like aspartame. They often report negative side effects and freak out about ingesting artificial sweeteners. Are these claims credible or could it just be in their heads? Let's look at a double blind randomized crossover study to see if this is actually true. The study took 48 people who claimed to be aspartame sensitive and matched it along with 48 people who weren't sensitive to aspartame. Researchers gave both groups an aspartame containing snack bar and a controlled snack bar without aspartame, seven days apart. Both times they were told they'd been fed the aspartame bar, even though one of the bars didn't have any artificial sweeteners in it. 14 symptoms, biochemistry, and metabolic response were measured. The findings showed that all 14 symptoms were the same in both groups in both instances. So as a result, researchers concluded that this was due to the nocebo effect. The nocebo effect is where negative effects happen simply because you expect or believe them. In other words, you played yourself. The researchers further proved this point thanks to the comprehensive test they did on the subject's biochemistry and metabolism of aspartame. In both groups, their bodies were shown to break down aspartame just fine with no issues. So if you think you're aspartame intolerant, it's most likely just the nocebo effect, meaning side effects happen caused from your head, not necessarily aspartame. This is not to say genuine intolerances don't exist, but the research is pretty clear that aspartame intolerance in particular is probably just a myth. So no, Diet Coke is probably not going to kill you. That is all for this video. If you wanna learn more about the details about artificial sweeteners, you can click the link below. It'll take you to an article I wrote on my website. Besides that, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time, YouTube. Peace.